screen, but it was it was headed down the line. Jeff Kent is 0 for 2, lined into a double play, struck out. Let me put it this way: it was higher than that screen. 25th home run for Bonds, 58 RBIs now. Ooh. It's another one. Ooh. Jeff Kemp has put the Giants ahead. Line drive home run. Dead left field. And all of a sudden the Giants are ahead three to two. Back to back home runs. Barry Bonds, Jeff Kemp. Well, Matt Peach has had a lot of trouble uh, with the home run ball. And, you know, that, that seems to be the main problem for him is that uh, he's not able to get through games without the home run ball hurting him. And here they go back to back. And now here's Kent. He hits a line drive home run. This pitch is supposed to be outside. Came back over the plate a little bit, and he hits a line drive over into the left field seats. Honestly, he's only... No balls and a strike to Jeff Kent. Stepping off, keeping an eye on Bonds is Spratlin. Strikes to Kent. It's now the 23rd of July in the Delaware Valley, and birthday wishes to Tony Ushak from his son Nick and from all of us. Tony of Runnymede, New Jersey, celebrating his 85th. Lovely community, Runnymede. Have relatives there, my aunt and uh, uncle, Joe and Alice Palladino from Runnymede. Bonds goes, oh brother. Oh, take a ride on that one. So once again, Matt Beach will be denied of getting a win. Jerry Spradlin gives up a two-run home run here in the seventh inning. And the Giants retake the lead. It's five to four. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. I mean, Bonds, the only thing Bonds does by homering is tying up the game. When you let Bonds on base that easily, you take a chance on Jeff Kent hitting a two-run home run. That's not a second guess. It's just, you know, we talked about it before it happened. Doesn't mean it has to, but it did. His second homer of the game is 22nd of the year. He's now knocked in 76 runs. Only a great year for these Giants.